This is a video to show you how to apply the second shift theorem of inverse Laplace transform. I'm going to go through example 2. Recall that the second shift theorem for inverse Laplace transform say that inverse Laplace transform of e power negative cs times Laplace transform of f of t is equal to f of t minus c times u of t minus c. For example 2, I'm going to find the inverse Laplace transform of 3 times e power negative 5s over s minus 1 raised to the power 4. Since the calculation is a little bit involved, I'm going to do mental calculation to avoid writing too much material. First, you must ignore e power negative cs denote of c. So that means that I must ignore e power negative 5x and denote that c is equal to 5. That means I eventually left with inverse Laplace transform of Three over s minus one power four, and we know that c is equal to five. Next, I'm going to find f of t. Now, because after I ignore e power negative five s, I have three over s over s minus 1 power 4 and this is my ft how do I find the answer I am going to first shift s minus 1 to s by applying by applying first shift and I'll get inverse Laplace transform of 3 over inverse Laplace transform of 3 over s power 4 and I multiply by e power t after I shift and then I'm going to take out the 3 and then inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s power 4 In order to balance this, I must multiply by 3 factorial and then divide by 3 factorial again. Since 3 factorial is equal to 6, so 3 over 6 is half. e power t inverse Laplace transform of 3 factorial over s power 4. But then, the inverse Laplace transform of 3 factorial over s power 4 is t power 3. So this equal to half e power t, t power 3. And this is our ft. So that means that ft is equal to half e t t power 3. Third step is replace t by t minus c in the expression of ft. So c is equal to 5, you have f of t minus 5 equal to half of e power t change to e power t minus 5, t cube change to t minus 5 power 3 and the final step is multiply by u of t minus c where c is equal to 5 therefore the final answer is equal to f of t minus 5 which is half e to the power t minus 5 times t minus 5 
power 3 times u of t minus 5. And this is the final answer.